I'm Ted Melfi, and you're watching The Pretentious Film Majors. I was sleeping. Thanks for that. So the main focus of this film is obviously the relationship between Bill's character and Jaden's character. What was it like directing two actors with very varied levels of experience? Well, Bill has all the experience of the world. Jaden has none. So it's like it's night and day. Um, Jaden and I rehearsed endlessly, like 20 different days. And he's such a learner and such a scholar at, at acting. Um, and Bill and I didn't rehearse at all. Bill just showed up and likes to be free and just kind of go with it. And Bill kind of channels things, like it comes into him and he just, he relaxes and he gets peaceful. And Jaden, Jaden's like a master listener. He kind of listen and interact with everyone. So he was able to stand toe to toe with all those actors because he was just centered. And did you have Bill Murray in mind for the role while you were writing it? What was the process of getting him involved like? Uh, I didn't have him in mind when I wrote it because I wrote it with my father-in-law in mind who's a real-life Vincent, kind of a bastard guy, drunk, didn't have a good life, didn't, leave, didn't leave, lead a good life, and then later in his life became a saint to my wife. They became reunited. So I never thought of an actor because I think if you think of actors, it's too depressing if you don't get them. It's just awful. So I didn't think of them. Um, getting Bill Murray, that's a really long story. I'll tell you the very shortest version of it. He doesn't have an agent or a manager. He has a 1-800 number. You call the 1-800 number, and you call, and you call, and you call. And if he calls you back, he calls you back. And eventually, he called back. All right. Um, and so this was your first feature film that you've directed in 15 years. What was it like stepping back into the role, and what were some of the major challenges? Uh, well, I've been directing since I was 24, so 17 years now. I mean, I've done hundreds of commercials, so in between the last film I did, which was a TV movie, and this one I've done hundreds of commercials. So I've been working all the time and practicing all the time and honing my craft all the time. So it wasn't like I stepped away from it. I just, I just went and did a different medium. So getting back to it was just like getting back to my first love. All right. Um, and what, do you have any future projects coming up that you'd like to share some information with, on with us? What's it look like for the future? Uh, I adapted a, a New York Times bestseller for Sony called The Tender Bar. It's the story of a young kid um, in, in a broken down family who gets raised by the drunks in the bar. So that I'm really, really looking forward to doing and I'm circling a couple other things that, you know, I have a TV series called The Mancinis with John Favreau that I'm working on, some things like that. All right, very cool. Um, also, where are all film students? We come from Drexel University, so we tend to like to ask people um, what advice do you have for people just starting off in the film industry? Uh, shoot everything you can get your hands on. Shoot. Take your camera, take your iPhone, and you have no excuses, and shoot, 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 shoot till you bleed. And then write, and write till you bleed. Write whether it sucks, whether it's great, whether it's self-indulgent, just write. And eventually it all kind of works itself out. All right, thank you so much.